Hey guys, this is Precision TV, Bahati in Bahati Talk Show. Another day, another show. So today I have another, uh, you can see the guy here, the handsome guy, we're gonna talk about a lot of things. So you're gonna be surprised today. So, hey, what's up? How you doing, my brother? Uh, who are you? Oh, so I'm Prince, mm -hmm. Prince Nyako. So Nyako is my. What? Nyako? Yeah. That's your last name? That's my last name, so obviously that's from my I dad. Can, I can't even pronounce that. Oh, that's easy. It's, you say it's N Y N Y E R K O K O. Yeah. You're from where? I'm from Ghana. You're from Ghana? Yeah. Oh, Ghana, like uh, in a city or in a rural area? So Ghana is basically uh, found in West Africa, mm -hmm. um, and is just part of those 16 countries in West Africa, mm -hmm. and one of I mean the strongest countries oh. over there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Prince. So today, Prince, uh, he convinced me he's gonna talk about how Ghana is the best in Africa, how Ghana have everything good. So, guys, be ready. We're gonna challenge this guy here. <laughs> so, tell me, um, when did you come to America? Everything about you here. So, I've been in America a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, just a way different style from Africa. Uh -huh. Different culture. Uh -huh. You have to meet different people. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it's a lot of challenge, but you have to live up to it because that's why we are here. Mm -hmm. So, because I see a lot of people go to Ghana for life. Why did you end up here? So, because the Ghana is good. I know Ghana is good, mm -hmm. but sometimes, you know, traveling around also lets you learn new stuff oh, yeah. and other things. Uh -huh. And to be frank with you, America yeah. has, you know, taught me a lot of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I still love my country. Okay. You look young. How old are you? I'm just 20. 20? Yes. Look, you still young. Yeah, I'm still young. So give us uh, some image like experience when you, when you, uh, after you know you arrive here how did you see America did you expect and everything the way you see it? Okay so being in America was I mean one of the best experiences you ever seen in this world yeah because America I say is the greatest country in the yeah, world yeah so being in America the experience has been good yeah you sometimes experience the lows and the bads but I mean yeah all being together is really good yeah a lot of good experiences for me uh -huh. yeah. Did you have some challenge? Did you have a lot of challenges going on when you came here? Yeah, obviously you get some challenges. Yeah. Firstly, you need to, you know, moving away from your family, uh -huh. coming in here, you mm -hmm. make new friends. A new friends. And one of the challenges I had when I came in, I mean, most of the people had mm -hmm. when you come in is uh, mm -hmm. our language. Uh -huh. You know, we speak English, yeah. they speak English, yeah. but a bit different. So sometimes mm -hmm. you meet some people, they struggle to hear what you say. Oh. But I mean, it's all good. We try to, you know, yeah. get everything together. Thank you, Press. This is Precision TV. I'm here at Bahati Talk Show. So let's talk about uh, about uh, Ghana. Uh, if somebody's new when I want to go to Ghana, what can you tell people? Okay, so Ghana is, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. one of the 16 countries in West Africa. Mm -hmm. One of the beautiful and strongest countries over there too. Mm -hmm. So a bit history, a little bit of mm -hmm. history about Ghana. Yeah. So it's one of the British colonies uh -huh. who were colonized by the British. Right. So we had our independence on the 6th of March, mm -hmm. 1957. Yeah. And it was pioneered by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, oh. one of the founding members of the country. Oh. So after independence, mm -hmm. we tried to be on our own. Mm -hmm. So officially on the um, 1st of mm -hmm. July, 1960, mm -hmm. we became a republic. Wow. which means we had a chance to do our own thing yeah rule our own self yeah so in 1992 uh -huh. we became everything democratic uh -huh. so we had to vote yeah we had our own constitution mm -hmm. and trust me one of the peaceful countries you'll find in africa yeah you're right one of the peace when it, when it comes to peace ghana is good so here's my question why a lot of africans you know they go to ghana for life so Ghana is one of the peaceful countries, as I said, mm -hmm. so you will find the peace in there mm -hmm. and a lot of opportunities in there too. Mm -hmm. You have great people in there, mm -hmm. nice people, mm -hmm. so I mean you have a few of mine when you are working or mm -hmm. when you have your business over yeah, there. Yeah. So it's like they have the freedom when they go. Mm -hmm. So most people have to now they want to go there and mm -hmm. experience life in yeah, there, yeah. how the African life is, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it helps them a lot. So most okay. people, they don't want to come back. That's yeah. why most people end up staying over there. Thank you. Because I know a lot of Africans go there to Ghana because of life. But uh, when it comes to um, attractions, what uh, what uh, what uh, kind of the things you can tell us which attract Ghana, like special tourists go to Ghana? Yeah. So one of the main like source of revenue for the country mm -hmm. is tourism. 
a story. We have like. Oh, for real? Yeah, for real. Good. Yeah, one of the most like it generate a lot of income. Do they? Do they? Uh, do they? Uh, are they? Uh, are they? Uh, is is Ghana close to the ocean? Or? So Ghana basically on the south mm -hmm. is bordered by the Gulf of Guinea. Mm -hmm. So that is just an ocean over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the southern part of Ghana mm -hmm. at the border is just an ocean. That's the Gulf of Guinea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have our uh, Burkina brothers. Yeah. On the north, mm -hmm. they have the Togolese. In the Cote d'Ivoire, so I mean, we are bordered by three countries yeah. and an ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talking about the tourism, so, yeah, we have like um, we have interesting places you can visit, uh -huh. like the castles. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of natural things, yeah. waterfalls. Yeah. You know, people want to come there and experience the slavery castles they build. Yeah. They want to experience, you know, the natural, you know, the natural yeah. appearance of Ghana. People want to see it. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So uh, tell me, did you ever travel bes uh, beside America and Africa, other countries? So that's one of my main like objectives, my main dreams. Yeah. One of it to tour Africa. Mm -hmm. I want to visit Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot about Rwanda. Yeah. I want to go there. Yeah. So aside Ghana, my yeah. only country I've visited now is America. Is America? So, so you say uh, you mentioned uh, Ethiopia, you mentioned uh, Rwanda. Why? Why? Why is those? Countries are very special to you. Yo, I like that question you asked me, my brother. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of African friends, yeah. Ethiopians, yeah. Rwanda, Nigerians, and right. all sort of stuff. Yeah. So I have these those Ethiopians people. They make us feel uh -huh. they have the best of everything. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So I just want to, I just want to taste Ethiopia. I mean, uh. It can be a country. Uh -huh. It's nice. They have pretty and beautiful ladies. Uh. They have nice culture. That's so, the point. I just want to. That's a point. Yeah, so that's you, so you say you want to see those beautiful uh, girls, Ethiopians, yeah. but I, I think other countries, even Ghana. Yeah. Do you know Ghana? Have, Ghana have one, one of beautiful, you yeah, know. Yeah. I know we have beautiful Ghana. ladies. We have great personalities so, over there. So what's special with the uh, Ethiopians? It's not only about Ethiopians. Yeah. I know Africans. We have a lot of great and beautiful personalities in there. Okay. Yeah. So my main concern is about those Ethiopians. What about Rwanda? Rwanda is a nice country. And you know, Rwanda we have beautiful girls yes, too. Yes, we have beautiful girls. And now I think we are the first in Africa. Really? Yeah. I don't know about. Oh, you never see? Yeah. You never see them? No. I have a lot of Rwandan friends. Oh yeah. But it will take a lot to convince me you have the most beautiful countries on right. the planet. Right. The most beautiful ladies on the planet. They <laughs> have great personalities. I respect Rwanda. Right. Yeah. I love their ladies. It's a growing country. Have Africa. everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. So, uh, you say you wanna you wanna travel you wanna travel you know Africa. So, are you planning? Do you like business? Yeah, I like business. Do you have an idea? Or maybe one 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 day you can invest in Africa. Yeah. You know one of those things Africa we have yeah. is our natural resources. Yeah. Which gives us an advantage. Yeah. Like it gives us a capital. Like it gives it gives us an edge mm -hmm. to start something new mm -hmm. because we have everything in there. In my country, yeah, the golds, uh -huh. the timbers, yeah, the bauxite, like all the raw materials, the cocos in there. Yeah. So it just gives you the edge to start something. New. So it means um, doing business there in Ghana is easy, because I know like in my country in Rwanda, you know Rwanda is one of the i think it's the first country in africa in doing business it's a customer care it's you can just open uh you know uh, your company just in 24 hours you open your business there are a lot of a lot of you know policies helps you know all these business people to do the business how is ghana so let's say if i want to go in ghana to invest is it easy yeah ghana investment in ghana be rest assured mm -hmm. you know we have a stable government mm -hmm. so your peace mm -hmm. to operate mm -hmm. is 100 percent assured okay we have the raw materials 100 mm -hmm. percent assured mm -hmm. so the human resources 100 mm -hmm. because my the people in my country they are yeah. very hard working guys yeah. Yeah. hard working ladies yeah so i mean you never run after loss yeah. when you invest in my country so uh when do is how much uh so in my country, uh, we spend or uh, we use the CDs. Uh huh. That's the notes. The CDs. Yeah, and we have the pesos, which is the cents here. Uh huh. So a dollar here in my country is five of the CDs. So so five CDs, you can buy a lunch. You can get yourself a lunch. A lunch. Yeah. Okay. So uh, because a dollar back back my home, a dollar. Yeah, you can you can eat with two people. Yeah. You know. So uh, tell me. Let's go about. Let's talk about food. Yeah. 
I know Ghana, I heard they have their own special food. You know, every country have their own, you know. Food. But we're going to talk about, we're going to jump a little bit about uh, culture and food. Let's talk about culture. So, Ghana, Ghana, because when I say culture, it can, uh, uh, you, uh, you can understand a language. How many languages do you speak there? So, we have a wide range of languages. Over in 50 Ghana? languages in Ghana. Uh huh? Yeah. How many? Over 50 languages. 50 languages? Over 50 languages Damn. in Ghana. 50 languages alive. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, which language is the main? The main one is the tree. <laughs> the one you always laugh about. Guys, guys, Chinese, they left. But I love. <laughs> when, when, when you hear Ghanaians talking uh, themselves, it's like a Chinese. So it's, uh, their language is tree. Tree? Yeah. Yeah. Tree. yeah. tree. So uh, that's the main. Like that's the most popular language. Okay. Like, but yeah. the other different languages people speak to. Yeah. So let's go to the culture. So culture, we have four main ethnic groups in Ghana, mm -hmm. but different tribes. Oh, okay. So we have a wide range of culture over mm -hmm. there. And my country, should I say like they respect culture. Okay. They value culture. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you you really love about my country mm -hmm. is our culture. A culture. Yeah. So what about the dress, the culture dress? Yeah. I see a, a lot of it here. If you go in Amazon, you see a lot of Ghana, Ghana dress. You know, a lot of people wear them here. Yeah. We have um, this people in our country yeah. who are capable of making their traditional clothes for us. We have Good. the kente, mm -hmm. we have a lot of them over there. Yeah. So we can make it ourselves. Yeah. Then it's really nice when you dress with your Ghanaian colors. Oh. Yeah. People love our clothes. Yeah, it's I really see nice. a lot of if you go to Amazon you can see a lot of Ghanaian clothes, you know. The one they call the this African design. We have kente. Um, we have we have a lot of them. Yeah. So let's go to food. Food, food, I know my, my Nigerian brothers and sisters will get a little bit offended, mm -hmm. but it is my country, I love my country. Mm -hmm. And we have food, variety mm -hmm. of foods. Yeah. So there is this food, it always stress controversy on the continent, uh -huh. which is the jollof rice. Yeah. Nigerians claim they have the best jollof rice, but ja I believe they have jollof the Jollof rice? Yeah. What does it mean, jollof rice? So like, it's yeah. basically a cooked rice. Uh -huh mixed with sauce with sauce yeah and it's really nice i will make one for you don't worry what is the one the one the popular one there now will the be the rice they don't know the one with beans and that rice is watch it watch it it's really nice that's actually popular yeah you need to I visit see it. i yeah i had a friend's girlfriends they bring watch it to our uh, work it's really good yeah yeah so it's it's popular there yeah i mean everybody likes it well, everybody, everybody likes, likes it. it. Yeah, watch it. They watch watch it. it. It's mix of uh, beans, rice. Sometimes they put even fish. Yeah, a little it's bit. Really nice, yeah. Fish. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, let's go to another thing. Uh, um, sport and entertainment. When it goes to the soccer, I know Ghana. Oh my God, Ghana is the best. I can, I can, I can be, a, uh, I can be a witness. Ghana is good. Uh, the, I think the. The, the last five years Ghana have been doing good in, and you know in soccer I don't know I don't know other you know other sport maybe yeah. both volleyball basketball mm -hmm. but let's go to uh, entertainment uh, music how is it Ghana is growing music Ghana, Ghana music you know Nigeria have been dominant Africa for long for decades but music but now I see Ghana huh? Ghana music Ghana, Ghana music is making waves and yeah. people like our music basically because of that three language I talked about. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, so, recently, the BET Hip Hop Awards yeah. that just took place, yeah. we had this Best International Flow. That was a newly created category. Oh. Yeah. And it was those who rap, like, like those who sing in their language, mm -hmm. but they have the flow. And it yeah. was worn by someone in my country. Oh. So, that should tell you we are making waves. We have great artists, uh -huh. the Shatawales. Uh -huh. The Stone Boys, oh. the Sarko, I mean, there are a lot of. Yeah. Great, so who is the, who is current right now? You know. So booming in Ghana right now, the, I, I can say Sarko there. Sarko there. Yeah. there is a group or it's a. Singer? He's just a single person. I, oh. One of the best on the continent. Oh, for yeah, real? Yeah. Wow. I'm not good, you know, with the yeah, music, yeah. but I, I'm gonna do a lot of research. Yeah. My people can check him out. Yeah. Sarko there. He is a really great musician and you will never get disappointed in his music oh yeah he does great music thank you guys this is precision tv bahati kalisa on bahati talk show i'm still with press here on my on my studio so let's go to uh, Ghanaians in america 
Do you guys have a diaspora? You know, diaspora here. Yeah. So basically, yeah, I'm young, so I won't get to know a, a more about that those people. Mm -hmm. But I know there are groups in here, and there are a lot of Ghanaians in here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like here, when here in America, you can you 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 can tell certain countries where they are basically uh, you know they, like you say if you say ethiopians if you go washington you're gonna find a lot of ethiopians if you want to nigerians you're gonna go to chicago new york so where which part in america where where so, Ghanaians are a lot i know there are a lot of Ghanaians in tennessee here yeah but i know there are lots in new york too in new york yeah okay. new york yeah. maryland uh -huh. then i can see maybe yeah maybe new york maryland yeah and yeah there are a lot of Ghanaians over there okay yeah. Okay, so let's go about uh, talk about work. Do you work here? Yeah, I work here. Do you go to school? Yeah, I'm trying to you know combine those two, but mm -hmm. now I've taken mm -hmm. a little bit break mm -hmm. from school mm -hmm. because of the pandemic and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we have plans to go back to school. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, education. That's one. yeah. You know, young people, Af especially Africans, they come here in America. You know, some of them they're lazy, they don't want to work. So you, what can you say about these young people coming here and don't want to work? So you know? I'll because, just because let them know. People they think America is like a paradise. You just come and uh, uh, you know climb the tree and get the money. So what I will tell them is, um, America they say like a lot of opportunities. Right. But you need to make yourself available for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. To my young Ghanaians, my people out there, mm -hmm. you can have all the opportunities you want, mm -hmm. but the school is very important. Yeah. Uh, knowledge. You can education. never forsake school. Yeah. You can never stay at the warehouse your whole lifetime. You need to improve and upgrade yourself. You guys need to go to school and you need, to, you need, you need the education. Yeah, yeah, you can make all the big money too. Uh -huh. Yes. So I just urge everyone: it's really hard combining school yeah. and work is difficult, especially for me. Yeah. But we we just try to you know calm ourselves down yeah. and make ourselves available for every opportunity we get because we want to make it really high in America. Right. Thank you, uh, Prince. Uh, let's go to the, the last part. I just ask you different questions personal. Okay. Are you single? Single and searching. Oh, single searching? Yeah. Come on, press. You, <laughs> you've been here for long. You have a girlfriend? Because, uh, you know, in America it's normal. America is normal. So, why you don't have a girlfriend? So, basically, an African culture, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to have a girlfriend. Oh, you can have it, but you need to sure? it away from your parents. Yeah. But in America, you have your fuel. Uh -huh. But let me tell you, I have a crush in here you in have, America. You have a oh yeah, I have a crush in here, oh, and she knows. Oh, she knows. Yeah, she she knows. So if that, if it's not a secret, from where? Oh, I think I can reserve it. Yeah. For my own good. Yeah. Maybe someone out there is It's from your country me. or it's uh, uh, somewhere. It's also uh, maybe outside. I can say it. Okay. She's from Ethiopia. Oh, she's from Ethiopia. Yeah, she knows. I mean, I know she's watching me. Oh, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so somebody, you are crush with somebody. Okay. So tell me, uh, what's your what what's your strength? So what I, I like to do most is I like to encourage my people. That's your strength. Yeah. Encourage. Yeah. I yeah. like to encourage motivate people. Mm -hmm. I like to fight hard. At mm -hmm. the end, mm -hmm. I know there is definitely a light mm -hmm. at the end of every darkness. Right. Yeah. So. Um, I, I never give up so easily. Yeah. If you know me very well, yeah, you know that's a strength. You never give up. I, I never give up. I like no it. No matter how it is, yeah. I never give up. Uh -huh. yeah. Your weakness? My weakness? My weakness? I don't really have a weakness, but mm -hmm. I think I, uh, I I have like a limit mm -hmm. to what I do, mm -hmm. and people take it as my weakness. Mm -hmm. So basically, I don't have the strength to engage in. I mean. A, a choir for a long time okay so people take advantage of that yeah but i mean i'm trying to work on it okay do you watch movie i watch movies what's your uh, favorite movie so i love watching movies on disney mm -hmm. but one thing people don't know yes yeah. i like watching stand-up comedies stand -up comedy yeah so netflix mm -hmm. okay special for them. everybody has a talent in, in his own life yeah do you know your talent? Yeah, I have talent. Which talent? So nobody taught me how to play um, the drums at a church. The drum at a yeah, church? Yeah. For, you know? I play myself. What about guitar? I don't play guitar. I really love to. Okay. Play guitar, but I never you still have a guitar there? Next time I'm gonna you're gonna come here and show people, you know? Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. So who is your favorite uh singer? My favorite singer, um, I love this Ghanaian gospel artist mm -hmm. called Joe Metal. 
John Betson. Yeah, he okay. is a really good artist. Uh -huh. yeah, what about in Africa? You say you like Ethiopia, you like Rwanda. Yeah. Do you know some uh, artists? So there? one thing I don't know is um, in I, Africa. In Africa, I just do. I know a couple of Nigerian artists, uh -huh. but I don't really know about the Ethiopians and the Rwandans. But I really love to learn, so I'm learning. Uh, Let me ask you a question. Okay. If Ethiopia they give you a citizen, would you abandon your, your citizen and be Ethiopian? No, I'm a Ghanaian. Uh -huh. It is in my roots, uh -huh. it is in my blood. Uh -huh. I can't abandon being a Ghanaian, uh -huh. but I, I can accept uh -huh. being a citizen of uh -huh. Ethiopia uh -huh. because of that lady I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, my, my super crush. Thank you. Uh, so, we just finished all those questions. I want to give you the time to give a message to okay. young people here in America. So, my first message is to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah. You are doing a really great job. Well, thank we you. all keep supporting you. Yeah. Yeah, so watch out for my brother. He's mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. And to my people back home, mm -hmm. everywhere, mm -hmm. keep pushing, mm -hmm. keep trying. Mm -hmm. No matter how it is, mm -hmm. there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. We are in a time of uncertainties. Mm -hmm. People have lost their jobs and all sort of stuff going up right. people have lost their families yeah but just keep heart keep praying to god we are just praying and mm -hmm. hoping everything come back to normal right we get a chance to see our people again mm -hmm. we get a chance to talk to our people we love again yeah i miss my crash but you, you miss you know, your crash. so so your next trip if you go to africa you're gonna you are, i'm gonna welcome you to rwanda all right i accept it my brother yeah you're gonna come to rwanda i'll visit rwanda first yeah before yeah. i go to Ethiopia. but i have a wife in ghana I know you are watching me. <laughs> I love you, baby. Oh, my Ethiopian uh, wife. And you say you have a crush? I know, right? <laughs> my Ethiopian baby, you know I love you too. Yeah. I love everyone. Thank I you. Love everyone. Thank you, guys. Can I mention her name? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, of your word. I'm but, just kidding. I can't uh, mention her name. Right. I know so, she's going to lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is Bhante Kalisa. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please uh like on our social media go to youtube and make a subscribe and uh, like on our instagram and uh, and, uh, and our facebook thank you this is bahati once, once again <laughs>